What's up, Internet? My name is Attack Slug, and I am here playing Akiba's Trip because reasons and the attract mode happens way too fast. I want to talk over the goddamn title screen. Let me talk over the goddamn title screen. Here we are, Akiba's Trip, or Akiba Strip, for the PS4. I'm going to hit options here, and I'm going to hit load game. I am a couple hours into this game, about four hours or so, uh, and I have not picked it up since launch. And I wanted to head back in, because I'm trying to finish it, uh, at least once. And this is a game from Acquire, uh, localized by Xseed. It is very Japanese, so know that going in. And it is a game kind of about vampires, sort of. And it is a game about stripping those vampires and exposing them to daylight while you are in an accurate representation of Akihabara, which is, uh, a district in, I want to say Tokyo, that this is a quote-unquote one-to-one representation of this district in this game. So, this thing here, you could go here in real life, and this will be here. You know, that's or, that's uh, according to, to this game. Like, all these all these buildings are all accurate um, for Akiba. So, this is a 3D beat-em-up, for those who don't know. Uh, and it's got some visual knowledge, uh, the visual novel elements to it. Uh, but you can see here there are a bunch of different areas to go in, and there are a bunch of different missions to do. So right, right now we are on a main mission to go, to go back to our base here and uh, see what is up with that. This game is also available on the PS3, the PlayStation Vita, and the PC. Uh, but I, pick, I picked it up on PS4 because I have a PS4, so that's... Of the PlayStation versions, uh, this is the best one. So we got a little bit of story here uh, that I'm not going to explain too much. But basically there are vampires. So you kind of get this stuff in between your missions, but the missions themselves involve being in like a 3D beat-em-up. And the combat system, not that great, uh, honestly. Uh, this game does have an... Uh, Obviously, an English dialogue option, but uh, if I'm playing a game that is very Japanese, I prefer to play a game in Japanese, at, at least you know with the with the um, the VO. Because at, at least then you're getting the original voice, the voices, and the original intonation uh, as it was intended. Although obviously, I don't, I don't speak any Japanese, uh, so but. I am not the kind of person who is going to downplay a game because it doesn't have dual language, but if you're giving me an option for dual language, I'm going to try to play the game in the original language. At least with the audio. Huh? And then you've got different options here for your dialogue. There are different endings for each of the girls, uh, is my understanding. Oh dear, this might actually take longer than I had. Like, usually these, these cutscenes in between the missions are pretty short. Uh, but this one seems to be a pretty, I guess, important story deal, so it's going to run for a bit longer than I had intended for this video anyway. But, that's me, Attack Slug. 47 episodes, that's like 23 hours, or 25 hours, something like that. Well, I mean, if you take into account that most episodes are actually about, uh, about 22 minutes, and if you cut out the intro and the outro, you could probably do it in about, you know, 18 hours. But still, there, yes, 18 hours. See, I fucking called it. Fucking called it. Alright, finally. Finally! Alright, this is our main base here. Uh, there are people to talk to. I can be like, yo, what's up? And she has things to say. There are, are, are arcade machines that I can't actually touch that look like Japanese wrestling, so there, there's, there's certainly that. Um, but I can't... I can't play them. Or those. Now, if this, if this was a Yakuza game, I, I totally could. But unfortunately, that's not where we're at here. Uh, you can talk to this dude to find out how the other girls think of you. Doesn't care. Doesn't care. Doesn't care. Doesn't care. Fantastic. Alright, so let's head out here. Back into Akiba. And I will show you how this game actually works. That it's when, when it's not being a very long, like, five minute cutscene. That was, you know, just a bunch of talking heads, etc, etc. So... There are vampires. This is where our main mission is. We're not, we're not, we're not going to go there. Uh, there. There are vampires, and your goal is to strip them, uh, as the game title suggests. Now, how you find the vampires is you use your special camera here and take a photo. 
And if they're like that, where they're freaking out, or they're all getting all weird, that means they are a vampire. But we're not going to actually go into it here, because I found that when you do it in the main mode, uh, you end up getting in battles that you can't win, and that sucks. So, uh, we're going to, for the time being, we're, we're, we're going to go to uh, where, we, where we need to go here. Uh, and you got things like your email here, you can look at your email, you can look at your equivalent of Twitter, which is called Pitter. Um, and that kind of stuff, but we're not going to do that. We're gonna actually going to head to where we should be going and hope that it doesn't end up in a big cutscene. It should end up in a battle, I would imagine. Um, and all this stuff here is all accurate stuff they had to license from the actual people and businesses who work there. What? Alright, fight scene. So, the combat in this game is not particularly great, especially when you're dealing with mobs, as I am here. Uh, there are three pieces of clothing that you want to pay, pay, pay attention to. Fuck! Or you just get fucking get your ass kicked like that, which is fucking garbage. Fix your clothes. Fuck! It's garbage. It's the combat in this game. Now I have no shirt. And now I'm dead. Now I'm fucking dead because the combat in this game is fucking garbage. So, as I was saying, I do like this game, but, but, there's always, uh, there's always a but. So, you, you, you have a block button, but the, it, doesn't, it doesn't block everything. This might actually be one of those game scenarios where you're, you're, you're supposed to lose, if I had to wager a guess, because these guys hit way, way too fucking hard for this point in the game. So, let's just let them beat me here and see what happens. It might just give me a game over. Which is fine. Get up. Nope. Now, obviously, this game is not rated M for Mature, it, it, so... Actually, no. I, actually, I, th I think it is. Um, this, this, this game is not... Where's the box? Yeah, it is. All right, now. So, this game is not rated adults only, so everyone is wearing underwear. I should point that out. But, yes, this game is rated M for Mature. Are they not going to get my pants? Like, I'm just standing here. All right. If you want to fucking put up a fight, that's fine. Stripping you. Nope, missed. Stripping you. What now? All of a sudden, they stopped, like, being assholes, which is, which is weird, because they were doing it pretty hard before. Alright, well, we'll see if we can't fight they're, they're, like, they're, there's, there's no real, like, lock-on system, which is fucking irritating, and there's no real way to, to deal with mobs like this. There we go. Now I'm done. Now I'm dead. So, that was a battle that I was supposed to win, and I certainly did not. I got a game over, and that sucks. So... Uh, we're gonna hit retry here. And we're gonna go back to Mogra and see if we can't get... So you, you do have AI partners that are usually with you, helping you. Uh, but for, for some reason I didn't have one, so we're gonna see if we can't get one of our patrol. Alright, so... Bring her with me, and then perhaps uh, things can go a bit easier here. But... I'm not going to count on that. So, I will say that, 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 that we do have a number of side missions uh, that pop up and that have varying levels of what you should do and varying levels of um, difficulty. Some of them are pretty easy, just, you know, go and do a fetch quest, and some of them involve just giant mobs of people. So, uh, that sucks. So, we'll see if we can do this again here and not fuck it up this time. Uh, but I have my doubts. Uh, oh, right, I, I gotta come here alone. Well, that's fucked. We're not gonna do that on this video. I'm not gonna be able to do it on this video, because it's gonna take a bunch of retries, and that's no fun for anybody. So, let's let's kind of hit up a side mission here. Uh, let's, um... Alright, yes, we'll, we'll take this two-star, take the mission, and then, uh... That's over here in the plaza. And we'll head there. 
and uh, see if we can at least get something done in this video that is not just a complete and total fucking mess. So the problem that I have is that the game is not very keen on pointing out what you should, like, the person that I need to find here, they're not going to have an arrow over their head or anything. So very much, you gotta kind of, okay, well, this guy's just standing here, so maybe, maybe it's him. No, it's not him. This guy's just standing here. Maybe it's him. No, it's not him. Um, and you don't really have a easy way to find out uh, who the hell you are looking for. So, he's waiting, it's like, he's in, he's in the plaza, but all you know is it's a dude. So, uh, not super helpful. When you're trying to find out, you know, just you go around, like, and you're, like, usually they look a little bit different than the average, you know, NPC, but a lot of time, they don't. So it's just like, well, he's standing out here somewhere, just don't know where, and it's really frustrating. And so when you go into missions, it's like, well, go into this section and find this shop. And, like, you're just sitting there looking at the shops, going, okay, well, I gotta go to the... The Gundam Cafe. Uh, let me see this guy. Nope. It's gotta be a guy here somewhere that's standing around. Nope. How about Guitar Guy? Boy, would I ever! Good for you, Guitar Guy. Good for you. Alright, so... I don't know. Maybe this guy was looking at his watch here. Nope. Alright, this is frustrating now. I want to like, get this mission done, but I don't know who this guy is. Here he is. Alright. Yes. Yoshidaba is over here. So, thankfully, the fast travel in this version of the game, unlike the PS3 and the PS Vita, is. Uh, a bit quicker, so the load times are better. Uh, they were not great in the beta version or the PS3 version. Um, so, hold on, let me actually look at my... Thankfully, this thing here gives you a pretty good idea of what you, what you should be doing. So he wants to go to the camera area. Get out of the way! Nope. Where? See, I said, the game's not super clear on... What's where? So we're just gonna kind of keep heading and hope we find. Nope. That's see that will be a different area. We need to stay here in. All right. Let's see if we can't find. Nope. That's not where. Nope. Damn it. So that's kind of a problem. The way that the game handles this shit is kind of an issue. Uh, cause now I gotta go back to. Over here. And he wants to go to the camera area. I'm not really sure what that means by the camera area. I mean, there's Nikon. I mean, this seems like the camera area, so... I mean, obviously, Canon and not Canon. It's, it's, you know, C-A-N-O-N is the camera brand, so... Uh, missing some actual brands here, but that's okay. No, this is just a shop. Like, I can buy and sell stuff. I can change my outfits. There are plenty of clothes to wear and collect. Uh, there are plenty of different weapons to get, to, you know, to get. Oh, okay. He just wanted to go into the shop. That's all there was to that. Alright, so now there's Club Sega, and this, th th again, th this was a Yakuza game, you can go inside Club Sega, here you can't. Um, so he wanted to go to, uh... Tokiwamusen. Oops. I don't know where that is. PlayStation! Uh, let's see if we can't find where that is without leaving beakers. Without leaving the area. Uh, nope. That goes to the shrine. So some shops you can enter out of the way. Some shops you can't. Usually there'll be an X. Um, if you can, like there, Maid Dreamin', you can go in there. Um, nope, that's, 
Nunez, Nunez, I think is the name of that. Uh, Club Sega. So I'm looking for a. There we go. Found it. Head into here, and then immediately leave. Now I'm assuming at some point we're gonna get some get some get some combat. Lamterra on Main Street Southeast. Mm. Map. Alright, now we're looking for Lamterra. So, some of the missions, some of the side missions are like this, where it's kind of just fetch questy stuff that ends in a combat scenario. Uh, and I do want to show off more of the combat, just not in like a one-on-one -on -one deal, because I'm going to get my ass handed to me, and that's no fun. Perhaps I'll actually look at the battle arena, that might actually be a better idea. Um... Out of the way. Out of my way. Uh, nope. That's not Lamb Terror. Duty free. Can't go in the duty free shop. That's just the back street. Looking for Lamb Terra. That's not it. Nope. That's not it. Lamb Terra. There we go. And this is an actual place that actually exists in the real world that you can go to, if you wanted to, uh, if you were in Japan, which I am obviously not. Alright. You got your stuff, can I... Where's your... There we go. Soft map. Main Street Northeast. How many stores are you going to? How much, how much money do you have, dude? How much money do you have? Seriously. Let us head to the soft map. There it is, right there. Nice and easy. Exit. Alright. Where'd he go? There he is. Finally, I want some anime merchandise. So let's go to the anime store on UD+, and I don't know which store that is, so this should be interesting. Uh, he wants to go... Well, nope, not options. To do. Navigator. Anime Center. Alright. I don't know where that is here. Let's hope I can find it. Um, there's not a whole lot of shops here. Okay. Uh-oh. Here we go. Here we go. Thanks for abandoning me to these fucking five guys here. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you! With your fucking back to my goddamn face. Asshole. So the camera in this game, not great. The combat is not my favorite part of the game. Let's do a fucking team strip here. This guy's getting stripped. Kick his ass. Right in the ass. Boom. Give him a suplex. And now you're naked. And they're all dizzy, which is, which is fantastic. I can just grab here, and then you can kind of get a combo going, which is fantastic. So when this stuff goes through, it makes the game a lot easier. But getting it to happen, uh, I found to be occasionally difficult. But if you can chain everybody, you get one of these. And then... Boom, you're naked! Have fun with that, vampires. But they're not, that's not all of them, unfortunately. Like, you would think with a whole crowd of guys and girls that you would, you know, be done, but you're not. Uh... And there's no real, like, you gotta walk away and then hold L1 to get your clothes straightened out. And when you straighten them out, then you're okay. But, nope. What you'll notice is, the more you hit a guy, then their clothes start blinking purple. And when they're purple, then you can yank them off. If you try, if you try to do it beforehand, it doesn't work as well. As it turns out. So that guy's pants are blinking. Let's get him off there. Like that. But they're still alive, so... Let's see if we can't win this battle here. 
skip it. Oh, really? He was dizzy and you moved him and yeah, that's pain in the ass. So now we got one, one guy left here. You can't leave an area when, when you're in open combat, which is uh, when you're getting your ass kicked. It's kind of a fucking hassle. And I can't see anything here because the camera is not always the best. Because it, it, it's, it's in, like, the, the, the camera stuff does not separate from how the game normally is. So when you're in the game normally, this is where the camera is. And that makes it hard when you're actually trying to get into a combat situation, which is fucking irritating, let me tell you. Alright, so just down to his pants now. Fuck off! The worst. So, like, I would like this game so much more if it had a competent combat system, but it doesn't. And so I'm kind of tolerating what this game is. Get some money. Alright. Hey, guy who fucking abandoned me. Oh, good. That's, you know, makes sense. <sighs> Give me some money. Cha-ching. That's not, that's not enough money, but okay. Alright, let's at least head over uh, to the battle arena and see if I can't just get a better grasp on explaining what the combat is like in this game because it's, it's weird. It's not great. Hello. I'm hunting for a kiss. Too bad. Alright. No, not talk to the... Yeah, talk to her. I want to fight you. She won't fight me. Alright, well I guess we're not going to do the combat arena because she won't, I'm not a high enough level yet. Uh, and you can see here, there is all kinds of equipment to mess with. Uh, my underwear. Underwear. That's funny. Uh, the game's kind of, you know, it's very tongue-in-cheek. Um, yeah, 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 whatever. Uh, you got your status here, yeah, all, you know, hit points. I mean, it's got RPG stuff in it, which, 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 which is neat. You can, you know, do upgrades. It's got a bunch of options in there. The game is mostly alright, it's just occasionally I have issues with, you know, the way it handles the main part where you play it. I guess it's kind of my, my main complaint there. Like I sitting there playing a PSP or a Vita. Well, one of the two. Hey, guy. Hey, girl. Um, and then certain characters, I will, you know, if you get past them and you defeat them, then you can go in here into the options and uh, adjust your smartphone wallpaper with different things and be like, here's the strip scene. Oh, no, bra and panties. You know, that kind of stuff. But... For the most part, uh, it, it, it is a very, it, it's handled very tongue-in-cheek, um, and, uh, at the end of the day, very, very, very Japanese. So, uh, that's gonna do it me, for me here at Tax Slug, perhaps not the most interesting look at Akiba's trip, but I gave a pretty decent overview, uh, of why I'm playing it, again, because reasons, um, and that's gonna do it for me here at Tax Slug, uh, and, uh, that's gonna wrap it up, so... This has been Because Reasons, uh, I'm Tax Slug, and I will see you next time right here on this channel. And I'm out.